Okay, a quick overview here, just a review on if we were talking about first or second derivative, what does that tell us about the graph? Okay, the first derivative is going to tell us if the graph is increasing or decreasing. So if the first derivative is positive, the graph is increasing. If it's negative, then the graph is decreasing at that point. Um, and you only get maximums or minimums whenever the first derivative is either equal to zero or undefined. That's when we could have maximums or minimums. All right, next up, the second derivative tells us about concavity. Um, if the second derivative is positive at a given point, that means it's going to be concave up. And if the second deriv derivative is negative, that means concave down. All right, concave up looks like the bottom of a bowl. Concave down looks like the top of an umbrella, basically. Um, and you can only get an inflection point where your concavity would change from concave up to concave down or vice versa if the second derivative equals zero or is undefined All right, at that value for x. So let's take a look at two quick examples here and see what do they tell us about the first and second derivatives. Okay, so when we're thinking about this first one on the left hand side here, if I were to draw a tangent line in, it looks like something along those lines. All right, the graph is increasing and the tangent line has a positive slope. So because it's increasing for that tangent line, or the graph itself is increasing, how you can think about it, that tells us something about the first derivative. That tells us the first derivative is positive, that means it's greater than zero. All right, the other thing we can look at on this is the concavity. In this section of the graph where the point is, this looks like the bottom of a bowl. So as far as concavity goes, this is concave up. So that has to do with the second derivative of our function. Because it's concave up, that means the second derivative is positive, or again, we can say it's greater than zero. All right, let's look at another one here. Now, the point that's indicated on this graph looks to be on a section of the graph that's decreasing. Or if I were to draw a tangent line in here, look something along those lines, that tangent line has a negative slope. Because of that, because it's decreasing, that tells us our first derivative. And again, I'm calling it f of x. I don't know what this one's named. We weren't really told. The first derivative is going to be negative. Or as we compare it to zero, it's going to be less than zero means the same thing as saying it's negative. All right, the other part of this has to do with concavity. In this section where our point is, this section of the graph, it looks like the top of an umbrella. Kind of a weird looking umbrella, but the top of an umbrella all the same. So we say that means concave down. So in this case, concave down is the second derivative. Our second derivative is going to be negative or less than zero is another way to say that. All right, so I hope this helps out as you're trying to identify um, what a graph can tell you about the first and second derivatives. Just remember, increasing or decreasing is the first derivative. Concavity, concave up or concave down is the second derivative. Hopefully you get those comparisons down um, as we're comparing them to zero. Good luck.